Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, Paul says, take a stand, withstand, and then stand in the evil day. And believe me, the battle for your soul begins in your mind. If Satan can control your thoughts, he'll control your destiny. Because I assure you, when Satan sees you walking down the road like this, he will totally destroy you. You can't possibly survive in your own strength. Why are so many Christians decimated right now? Why are they just absolutely falling out because they don't have the strength to endure? The Bible says, be strong in the Lord. Say that with me, be strong in the Lord. That means put on this whole armor. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. You can get nothing from heaven without faith. Salvation comes by faith. Healing comes by faith. Peace, love, and joy come by faith. You are no match for the prince of darkness. But when you put on the whole armor of God, you are more than a conqueror. You can look the devil in the eye and say, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Get out of my life. Get out of my thoughts. Get out of my marriage. Get out of my home. Get away from my children. Get away from my health. The power and the anointing of God are with me. And I am the conqueror here. Resist steadfast in the faith. The translation is fight him and fight him every day. Resist him and resist him every day. James writes, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Take a stand means you refuse to be intimidated by Satan who comes as a roaring lion according to 1 Peter 5. In nothing, be not terrified by your adversary. In nothing, be not terrified by your adversary. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. The truth is not something. The truth is someone. That someone is Jesus Christ. And when you know Him, you have the truth. And you walk in the truth. And you joy in the truth. And you rejoice with truth that is unspeakable and unshakable. Because Christ is the solid rock, the cornerstone, precious and elect in Zion. He's not trying to be truth. He is the truth. 